Uh huh. Sure. Yeah, we can do that. Absolutely. No, thank you. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, guys. Good morning. Had a little bit of early work to do here, but now I'm all done, and we are going to be working on uh, Kevin's big blue badass F-350 gasser today, the 460-powered gasser. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to modify the front reverse shackle kit um, and we're going to cut out the center support that supports the front leaf spring hangers on the front of the frame rail so that we can mount a front mounted receiver um, so that Kevin can more easily maneuver his big long camping trailer onto the side of his house. He's got a real tight narrow parking area for the trailer and uh, it's it's always a problem with that long wheelbase on the F-350. You know, he's got a long bed uh, crew cab. And uh, getting that trailer positioned just right and clearing all the obstacles he has to clear is a, is a real challenge with the extra long wheelbase. Uh, plus, the wheelbase happens to fall right against the curb when he's backing it in, and it just... It just, uh, it's a chore for him. So uh, we're going to put a front-mounted receiver on it, and uh, that way he should be able to steer it a little bit easier, get a little more sensitivity out of the movement of the front of the trailer, uh, and hopefully make his job getting that in and out of his parking area a lot easier for him. We're just going to take some materials that we have on hand here, some square 3x3, 3 3, uh, 3 16 wall tubing, which should be able to handle the weight of the trailer no problem, and a receiver hitch that's coming off of Parker's old blue F-250 here. Uh, he doesn't have a need for towing on this truck plus it has a big camper tow bumper on the back of it already with a ball so he doesn't really need the lower receiver uh, plug as well. So we're going to take that off, we're going to trim it down and weld that onto the front uh, support that we run between the leaf spring hangers so that we can get that receiver on the front of Kevin's truck. It's going to involve a little bit of cutting, a little bit of grinding, a little bit of welding, and uh, Kevin is going to do the bulk of the welding today. I'm just going to kind of observe and help him out where I, where I can, um, and we'll see how this goes. If we get that knocked out fairly quickly, Kevin also ordered up some mirror plates um, for his D-Max mirrors on the truck. Uh, the plates that he currently has welded to the doors, they're, they're tack welded into the door frames, or the door skins themselves. Uh, those plates he fabricated himself, and uh, they they leave a little bit to be desired. So he went ahead and ordered uh, some of these fancy prefabbed 316 steel plates. I believe they're 316. They're pretty thick. Um, that are already pre-cut out to fit in the vent wing frame of the door skin, and uh, have the holes already for the D-Max mirrors. So we're going to try those out. That's going to move his mirrors back about an inch and move them in a little bit so that they fit a little more flush and uh, hopefully still maintain the functionality of the vent wings because we all love the vent wings on these old F-350s but give him a little bit better visibility and hopefully he can see the mirror um, around the post a little bit better with the new position and uh, just make them a little bit cleaner looking and we're going to stitch them into the door skin uh, right around the vent wing frame we'll see how that goes with time so we've got the fancy fab table set up over here. We've got our DeWalt grinders ready to go. And uh, I think we even have the Milwaukee Sawzall that uh, Kevin loves so much that we're going we're gonna to cut out that tube with. So without further ado, let's get to work.
Is this magnified? Oh, it is, yeah. Fancy. Because I'm fucking blind, man. <laughs> It looks better than I thought it was going to look, to be honest with you. I didn't expect it to turn out well. <laughs> well, when I heard it, I was like, oh, shit. It's been many years. It's a fucking sandbag in the <laughs> Well guys, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for us for today on Kevin's big badass blue 94F350 here. We uh, we got that front receiver hitch modified and mounted up into the front of his truck. We were able to take some 3x3 316th tubing that I had sitting around here in the shop, trim that to fit in between his front leaf spring hangers uh, for his reverse shackle kit, and take the receiver off of the back of Parker's old blue 71F250 project here. We took the uh, receiver hitch off, cut the extra material off that we didn't need. Kevin welded that re receiver to the bottom of the 3x3 tube that we welded in to his reverse shackle kit and gave him a front receiver hitch that he can now steer his trailer into his parking area with the front of the truck rather than steering it with the back of the truck. So it's going to be a lot easier for him to get it into tight spaces and a little bit more maneuverable than what he's been dealing with uh, trying to steer it with the back of the truck. So he's much happier with that. I'm going to try and get some video of that tomorrow and put, put that on the end of today's video so that you guys can see how it works. Um, but he's really excited to put that into use. Uh, because he's had a had a hard time. His parking area is not real wide, and he's dealing with a couple of inches on each side of this big uh, camping trailer, and it just makes it difficult. It makes it hard for him to steer that uh, steer that trailer with the back of his F-350. And what I learned today is that Kevin, while he says he's not, is a pretty damn good welder. He uh, he was able to lay some pretty decent beads not only on the leaf spring hangers on the frame that needed a needed a little welding there they hadn't been welded on the backside for whatever reason so I, I made him go ahead and weld those uh, but he also welded the uh, receiver onto the 3x3 tube and did most of the welding on the 3x3 uh, in, in between the leaf spring hangers and he's not a bad welder you know maybe uh, maybe the equipment I have made him look good that's what he'll say the excuse is but uh, but I think he's I think he's been sandbagging me a little bit and he's He's a better welder than he's been leading, letting on to. The downside for him is that I'm not going to be doing any more welding for him. He's going he's gonna to do all his own welding from now on. Uh, we got some parts in for Parker's 71 F250 here. We've got uh, the vent covers that we were missing that go on the top of the dash. So we're going to get these sanded down. Well, Parker's going to get these sanded down. Uh, sanded down, cleaned up, throw a coat of primer on there, give him a final sand uh, with a little wet sandpaper and then uh, give him a coat of baby blue and bolt him into the dash and he'll have a nice smooth pretty blue dash to go with that nice uh, eh, not so pretty truck. We also got some other items in here for Parker's 71 today. Uh, we got the uh, body mounts. We're gonna put these brand new urethane body mounts uh, under the under the body 
on top of the frame rails to uh, level the level the body out. Once the body's leveled out, then we're going to shim and adjust the bed and make it fit the back of the cab nicely and uh, level that out along the body line. So that's something we're really looking forward to doing. We're going to do all of that under dash stuff at once. So we're going to pull the old heater core out. We're going to pull the uh, old antenna out and get our new antenna put into place and routed correctly along the back of the dash. We're going to open up the box and put the new heater core in there, uh, get all of that plumbed in, and then once all that's mounted back up in there, we'll put the new glove box into position. And that's because I'm out of beer, and I'm drinking my wife's, my wife's juice over here. But for us for today here, guys, at the Vintage Speed Garage, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. We appreciate all you new subscribers. You guys have been blowing up the channel here lately and sending me lots of emails and comments, and I really appreciate that stuff. Kevin gets a kick out of it, too, anytime he hears something good or something bad about his uh, big, badass blue F-350. I think he gets a little bit of a kick out of it. We've got lots of great projects coming up, guys. I've got a ton of work to do here on the 66 Mustang. I've got a whole trunk full of brand new parts that need to get installed on here. We've got... Uh, a bunch of new parts for the uh, 71 F-250 project on Parker's old blue truck. We're going to get get work done on that. And I've still got a stack of stuff to do on my uh, 94 Ford 7.3 diesel. So please stay with us, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Give us a like if you think the video was halfway decent. And uh, comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.